what was it that made me hover towards your center of gravity? Was it your lack of vanity that you flaunted so avidly? Your sun-seasoned smile given to my own personal charity, inherently radiating this, this generous glow. We cross paths, exchange laughs often. Our words fast, our words flashed, too often. I found the momentum to float outside my little minuscule piece of space until I found myself being dragged into your center of gravity and the audacity that came with it. Woo! For you, I grab the corona from the sun and place it upon your head because no crown on earth would be as fitting. Woo! I want nothing more than to float towards you, unfasten Orion's belt, and reveal my true celestial body so that we together could blind the universe with our starlight. Mm -hmm. Damn. But alas, I stay a lonely moon to a Venus. Bubbling, boiling, broiling heat I felt from observing your surface, watching you turn and turn and burn as I yearned to be a part of your center of gravity. I wondered if Sagittarius would let me borrow his bow so I could attach my heart to it and shoot it to your center. Would it reach that far? Hmm. Or would it miss the mark and be sent into the dark, dark place of space between me and your gravity? I felt insanity. I averted my stargaze to revolve on my own, turning my back to see another's rings to which you had flown. I was alone, and it shone under my smooth tone. If you are Venus, I am Pluto, cold, dark, distant, no longer fit to even be named as the same kind as you. I burned and burned as I yearned. I should have learned that I would be scorched before even pressing a hand against your clarity, your rarity, your sweet, sweet center of gravity. Woo!